Hey guys, it's Kim here and welcome to Fright Night. I am joined by Hannah. Hello. And today we are playing White Night. So we're doing a Fright Night on White Night. <laughs> we all laugh. Um, so I've actually played a bit of this. I finished chapter one uh, on my Nanobytes series, which was taking a little look at this beforehand, and a little bit chapter two. So we're not going to do chapter one in this. Okay. It was quite short. Um, okay. If you want to see chapter one, uh, please look in the video description below for links to my Nanobytes so you can get a, a good look at it. And also yep. I'll put it in the playlist as well so it's the first part of this. Um, but uh, if you want to know what happens, uh, so basically yep, we're in Boston. It's the time of the Great Depression. Right. Um, think jazz, think noir, think film noir, think detectives Ooh. in big like hats okay, and trench yeah, coats. Yeah, yeah. Uh, we were drinking at a bar. We went for a drive. Don't drink and drive. No, drinks. don't. don't. Um, and a figure appeared in the road and we crashed outside a mansion. Right. Okay. And the mansion, okay. And, and then we had to go in the mansion, mansion at night. It's a oh. creepy mansion. Yeah. And um, we, I had to do a little bit of uh, finding the key to the door of the mansion. The key was in a graveyard. Okay. Good. And, well, I'm um, glad it was there. Why yeah. would you leave it there? I know, right? Is, Why is, isn't is it under a, bit, a rock a next odd. to the door? Yeah. Although, who does that? Um, so here you go. Oh, no, no, no. Oh, you got, I've got a keyboard. I've I mean, got, I can I've use that. Pad. I'm not incapable. Well, it's up to you. You have both options. Oh, I'll use the this. The thing is, here. I can dick you over because this moves. Okay. Uh, so if you want to go down to continue, there you go. So we are in the creepy mansion. So the Footprints. They're bloody. Yeah. Oh, I move. Can I move so now? You can oh, move I can. Now. Okay. So things you need to know, you don't want to be in the dark. Good. Okay. I, I um, love I love the dark. Yeah. So he's a bit messed up because we've just had a car crash and he's a bit like, oh, it really sucks. Oh, oh, I like his jumper. My body is a what is a sensible jumper, isn't it? Hello. Hello. Help. Please help. Oh. Didn't hear a dial tone. Okay. Hello. Hello. I need an ambulance. Oh, this could be Can you hear me? I need help. <laughs> Oh, good. This cold, the darkness around me. Oh, not the. I was usually not afraid. <laughs> not shrugs of the again. But there, on that day, I remembered I had a matchbox somewhere in my jacket. Good. The urge to light a match was growing with every new chill running down my spine. <laughs> oh, great. Okay. Okay, so return. Now, this is very important. If you're in the... Hello? If you're in the dark too much, he starts freaking out. Oh, okay. Um, so you, you want to, like, keep topping up your matches there. So anytime you see those, pick them up. Um, I think it's space to interact? Oh, maybe. There you go. There we are. Okay. So it's quite a text-heavy, like, story game. So we'll Ooh, find journals. Steady on, we'll find things. Find here. things to look at. So you might want to look at the shovel. I, 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 oh, ooh, look at that. So every time an icon pops up, basically, oh. Oh. yeah, just hit uh, space to interact with at, things. Can't look at can't look at shovel. Someone's got a hat. That's a man was living here. This is this guy a detective for a living? Yeah, yeah, he is. Good God, he is a detective. Boots have been used very recently. They probably left the muddy footprints. Is it mud or is it blood? Well, I don't uh, know. Instantly, That's the entrance, isn't it? Um, there was a graveyard outside. Um, so the guy, right? Yeah. Yeah. Couldn't soothe me. Mountain landscapes rarely do. No, Ooh, lads, this. this. Light. Oh. Ah! Oh, thank That's God better. for that. Um, um, what's this? Yeah. It's, Women? It's, it's a creepy door with the woman's sign. There's a lot of kind of symbols and sort of symbology in this so I, th I think you'll like it that's why i got you involved because i think you're gonna love this game oh good okay okay just i'll just check all this stuff yeah yeah just check everything check it check it check it check it out what's check, in this check. encyclopedias encyclopedias oh. so a learned person lives here <laughs> or With someone who wants very to odd taste and decor yeah because He's, they clash yeah oh, oh my god oh my god it all clashes oh my god i'm it not clashes. going in that corner because i've like been there before um so you've seen the muddy boots yeah maybe the boozy bottles boozy bottles boozy gloves boozy gloves Special, Special taste, taste wrap. That's a polite way of well, saying that. When you come drunk. up to the porch, there is like a glass of wine just on the porch, and it was like someone had been here recently. Oh, so. is the light? No, the light hasn't gone off. No. We're doing no. Come on. So I reckon out we here? should. Well, actually, I'm not going to say. I'm not going to say. I've done this bit, so I know, I know what you need to do. <sighs> okay, 
Well, we're going through here. He's very hurty. Locked. Oh, it's locked. Of course. <laughs> no way to know what was behind it. It's a bit Silent Hill, this game. So, like, you know, the kind of curse of the locked door. Like, oh, oh this door is locked. Well, this door is locked. This one, then. Uh, I guess I go in um, here, aren't I? I can't remember what it was to what control it was to light a match. Was Just it return. return? There we go. Yay! Yeah. Let's go into the. Sometimes they don't. Oh, dude! Yeah. What? It's a really nasty touch. Like in when you're in the dark and you're like, ah, why won't you light? I've got to go through here, where someone's made a right mess of the floor. Yeah, I know. Right? Oh, yeah. Lovely wooden flooring as well. Oh, oh there's oh, a hello. There's a switch yep, on the door. Yep. Yep. Oh yeah. Yeah. So these these armchairs. It's a little bit like alien isolation in this, in that you rely heavily on save points because if you something happens to you. Why would something happen to me, Kim? Um you jump back what to like your earth? last save point. What on earth could happen? I can't check that. Okay. 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 Wait, so no. This'll heal him up a bit as well, so he's a bit less uh oh. less limpy. Oh, oh, <laughs> so limpy. Yeah. Hello? Are you there? No, I'm not Papa, here. can you hear me? Uh, you to run. Like, who keybinds this shit? I what? don't... What you, you? It is a bit odd, isn't it? So yeah, let, let's have a look. A Luke. Luke, it's my new book. A box full of old science books. Mm. This man was a teacher. <laughs> or a scientist. Uh, oh, except he likes pictures of... Of nuns. nuns with, I thought it was oh, a sword, but it's a candle. Church, a really big candle. Um, oh, should we just? Do you want to do a quick run so that? Yeah, he, yeah. Go away. That is the most pathetic run. Also, <laughs> my my match. No, it's still working. I thought it was going to go out. Oh, it looks like there was a book on the library. Margaret. Okay, so William is seven today. He is with Henry, running after the servants in the garden, dressed up like monsters from space. Games, always games. The mansion is all upside down and their yells gave me an awful headache. Sounds like you. Uh, I'm now cloistered in the office, unable to even pray. William's fantasies keep William... No, Henry's fantasies keep William away from his great destiny. I have to bring him back to me, as this will be my only chance to make a man out of him. Do you think it's like Mulan? They need to sing that song about making a man out Maybe. of you. Maybe. Yeah. Maybe. Um, <laughs> Uh, to make him embrace the Ventacross legacy, to show him the way, Henry is a dreamer and he has no ambition whatsoever. He can't teach him everything. Behind every great man, there is a great woman. Nonsense! Women should be on the front line! Ow. <laughs> Serves you right for punching that, but I kind of agree this, with this. This is where the opposite brought us. I have no illusion how, about how little power the world is leaving in the hands of women. Spot on. Mm. Uh, but William is young. He is the future. I will act through him. And may night finally fall upon this house. May William stop running after deceiving lights to find the place he deserves in this world. Yeah, so this is after the first uh, the first stuff was written about women and independence, wasn't it? Hmm. But before suffragettes. Yeah, so this is... Uh, that was when Mary Poppins well, was happening. It's 1911, wasn't 1911, it? So yeah. there was stuff being written in 18-something. Uh, yeah. Um, but then the suffragette movement was slightly later than that, so um, good. Powerful woman. Yes. In this household. She literally has a lot of money. Yeah. Oh, incidentally, this is the Vesper Mansion. The, v the Vesper Mansion. Vesper. I see. So. There's a door here to the library. library. I'm just going to check what the, check, what check the, the Dickens is this. The crucifix. Oh. Not comforting at all. No, it's definitely not. I don't find crucifixes very comforting. They're I not, I don't think well, they're, they're supposed not, to yeah. be. I mean, most of it the, is. I hate to say it, but most of like the, because it's Catholic it's predominantly, Catholic, isn't it, yeah. nowadays? Yeah. Like, it's not, like, Protestant removed all of the, oh, hello, madam. <sighs> I think she wants some what help in. Okay. Or, what was it? It's a ghost, mate. In my world, women didn't glow like the moon. <laughs> and they didn't walk through doors either. Perceptive. <laughs> A ghost, mate. I had to Get be your more badly wounded than I thought. There's a thingy on the yeah. uh, thing. Oh, I can come back for those matches, so remember they're yeah. there. Yeah, it's a good old Catholic church. Did sort of like oh, its old indoctrination and shit, Folkies. didn't it? Like properly back then. 
William, six-year-old daydream already go up a little bit. There he is. Uh, six-year-old William. I, I like child. a game with creepy photos. Uh, creepy children. Creepy photos. Oh my creepy creepy photos. Nah. Um, so this is sort of like survival horror in that matches are re are a resource, so be careful about them. Yeah. Um so newspaper comes darkness. So nineteen thirty eight. It's about so this is the time that the Great Depression happened. Um so everyone unemployed, families yeah. ending up on the streets, forced to live in slums. Um it's the great crash and yeah, so Bad stuff. So we're in an econo stuff. economical situation where bad stuff is happening. Indeed. To everybody. I'm just going to pick up everybody. one of those matches. Yeah, so you, you want to kind of Come right. get a feel for how long matches last and things like, you know, lighting candles and stuff like that. Yeah. Yeah. Um, so she door. wants us to go through the library door. I, these can never happened in the library. Really creep me out. Am I? Oh. Ah! Okay. okay, we're not going in there. Want a little hint? No. Okay. Go look at the creepy boy. <laughs> <laughs> go on then. You go I look refuse. at the creepy boy. I could run. Yeah, you could right. run. My worry is, I see when I ran, the the light seems yeah. to have a little. Oh, have a look at the. Uh, is this is even on? Is that a light? No. Yeah. Oh, it was on. Yeah. <laughs> What is this weird ass moon thing? I'm pretty sure I've seen sculptures like that before, like from the Art Deco yeah. period. <sighs> Lunar goddess statue. Oh, there you go. Okay. And out goes the light. Is there something on the. Did we check this table? I think I tried, but it wasn't having any of it, no. Okay, there's nothing there. Um, oh, hello. Oh. Is that the glow of the accident? So that's his crashed car outside. Okay. Which is irresponsible. Don't drink and drive. Ooh. Margaret. Oh. Oh, yeah, so you hear he's but. starting to like panic a bit. So yeah, light. Margaret's diary. Okay. Suffocating in its useless illuminations and frills, the mansion doesn't have the greatness befitting a fortune like the Vespers. It's the work of a degenerate romantic. Well, that's very rude. It's like a stain in this century. I ordered the flower beds on the east side of the garden to be removed. They made moving around complicated, and in the summer, their scent was unbearable. I didn't like to think about uh, talk about it to Henry. Uh, and he was quite upset. For the first time, I think I saw something like rage in his eyes. For a few seconds, he did look like a man. And then he shut himself back in his melancholy and played the piano all afternoon. His jazz again. This stupid music which, reach, which reeks of debauchery and yeah. misery. Well, that's the thing. Back then, jazz was like... It was the taboo, wasn't it? It was almost? so yeah. like like hardcore rock is yeah. or kind of isn't anymore well, because it's now games. Really taboo now, it's games it? yeah. in the media. That's that's now the the problem thing. Yeah. But um, it was jazz because yeah, because it was it, it was debauchery. Well, I it guess was, it was yeah. It was also brought in. It was because it's sort of from New blues Orleans and stuff. And, yeah, so yeah, obviously there was a big slave of, culture. Yeah. So obviously all the. People who were up their own asses were like, "Oh, this this music is disgraceful. Yeah. And it's encouraging sex, and it's from yeah, it's from the lower, the class. lower yeah, classes, yeah, the people that we, like, we don't really want." It's, yeah, like, it's a well, lot of racism, classism. But kind it's very of, yeah. good music. Yeah, jazz is and brilliant. And you're all assholes <laughs> as well yeah, yeah. because it's also this woman, uh, assumedly it's her that stuck Margaret. all the religious shit everywhere. Yeah. So she's just extra yeah. silly about the whole thing. Well, she's married in to uh, Henry, and um, so you can see that there's obviously no love. Check the uh, yeah. shovel. Um, she ain't got no love. There's just no love there at all. No respect. The shovel was covered with fresh soil. Mm, someone's been digging. I'm Ooh. suspicious of any area that has its own graveyard, to be honest. Oh. Um. The light went out. Hannah. Where was the light? It, it was, was over this here. side, wasn't it? These these angles like are oh. so oh. 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 Oh shitty bums. That door is opened. Yep. Do you want to turn the light back? Yeah, no, I was trying to find it. It's on it was on the right side of the door. There it is. <laughs> yeah, yeah, yeah. Oh. Oh. Right, so you've got two choices. That was the that was the one with the women's sign. That was the sign. one with the women's sign on it, yeah. I'm good in here. Okay. Safe. Safe women. It won't be safe. Oh, did you see that? Oh, I saw that. And my light's gone out. Dude. Oh, there's a... 
Yeah. Oh, someone's playing some music for me. Merciful heavens. What was the... Dude, it's a wardrobe. Just bloody <gasps> poke your nose in and see. Oh, I can't. Oh, no, I can. That's nosy. Looks like we've got some books, small books. So this is like a <sighs> reading room, I guess. Oh, Claire de Lune. Lucy's Claire de Lune. Oh, no, not that again. Do you what? remember? Dun, dun, da, da, da. Which one was it? Which game, which bloody horror game was it that had Claire de Lune in? At I the save say point? Bioshock? Oh, no, it was Evil Within. Oh, God, yeah, it was, wasn't it? Appointment with Destiny. So more about... Oh, it's from Roosevelt. Oh, Hello, so Roosevelt. what this is, the uh, economic royalists complain they seek, we seek to overthrow the institutions of America. They complain we seek to take away their power. So politics, basically. We stand for democracy, not tyranny. Okay. For freedom, good. not subjugation. Yes. Well, good. And a dictatorship by mob rule and the overprivileged alike. I see. Mm. I see. I see, I see, I see. Oh. Um, Creepy photos. Oh, oh nice. good. Someone's angry. And they've yeah. got a knife. What is over here, actually? Oh. Uh, oh. Ooh, another lady door. Another lady door. We'll check it out in a moment. Oh, I... That, that. I love the creepy portraits. William, here we go. Ah. So, 1932. Of all the bars I visited, the smoke and mirrors appears to have been especially tailored for me. People there are quiet, melancholic even. They stagnate in the swirling smoke of their cigarettes like convicts, desperate victims that were pushed to the darkness by the crisis. But even if the bar is an elegant place, they are not driven away. They respect their right to oblivion. It is a place where they could disappear. I found myself a corner from which I can watch their comings and goings until I am carried to the abyss by my own whiskey. Every time I am caught again by the band, such good musicians. Their music is like a tear, a tear, a tear that stretches, <laughs> time stretches, a slow jazz, steady and reserved. It is the music of their time, the music of those who fell on the wayside. I don't know what my ex is doing. No, I don't know either. Someone told me about a singer who just got hired. Well, I don't think the band needs that, but we will see. Say, say, say. <laughs> What I'm doing. Um, so when was Prohibition? 20s? I can't remember. Or 40s? It's Boardwalk Empire. <laughs> probably not around now because they, mm, I don't know, bars, whiskey. No, that's the thing. Not like, alcohol in this. That's the thing. I'm not sure when, whether it was just after this or whether. Yeah. I will Google that and come back to you with that okay. for the next episode. You think I'd know? I've watched oh, three nice. seasons of Boardwalk Empire. I, I keep meaning to watch which that. Which is good. I know. So good. I love a bit of Steve um, Buscemi. There's also, I sort of started watching it for that, but there's also um, Richard whatever his face is, one of the characters who's got, he basically was in the war, so he's a war vet, and yeah. he's had half his face has just been wrecked, but he was a sniper. Mm. Um, so he ends up getting in with, Steve Buscemi <laughs> as like the hitman. Yeah. So there's, I think there's one point at which he just just goes like, right, I'm going to kill about ten men and just cool. wanders around with a shotgun. And you're like, this is amazing, great job, dude. <laughs> um, I wish we could have a shotgun in this. It would be, it would make my life a bit. I've got, I'm putting my hand matches in WASD. Yeah. Where? Matches on the table. Oh. On the table. Ah! Madam. Like it was reaching out from some fairy tale. The kind of stories in which kids get devoured by some witch Flipping in the dark light. forest. Light it, you bugger. Was it real? Probably. Delusion oh, yeah. or not. Some nice music. I tried not to think about it. Oh. Only a madman can think about oh, things. Oh, there she is. Things. Oh, she's the sick. She's the singer. I decided to accept her presence. After all, from all those I'm weird things I had seen that yeah. night. She was the only one who hadn't tried to kill me. Well, not yet. From Selena to William. Do you want, do you want to do her voice? <laughs> Come on. I'm not doing your weird-ass American accent, because it's just going to be awful. Oh, just, no, she is just, a singer. Just do sexy. Dearest William, you wanted to know more about... That's is dreadful. that sexy? Is that sexy? Is that what you think sexy is? <laughs> Dearest William. Oh. He wanted to know more about me. Oh, okay. Last time I didn't tell you everything. <laughs> this letter will make up for this. When I arrive in California in 1930, I'm only 18. 
this is a, the, the tense here is weird, but this is a marvellous place, and the weather is so nice. I spend hours on the beach, astonished to see how brown my Norwegian skin can become. English, not her first language. Okay. In the evening, I hang near the jazz clubs. Um, okay, I'm just going to skim that, because good lord. Yeah. Wangs is quickly reproving thanks to the American songs I already knew in Oslo. At that time, I'm Oslo. barely aware of the social misery that is devouring your country. I'm young, I want to be beautiful, to meet people my age and to sing. In Los Angeles, at the Spice Club... I meet the members of a jazz band. They are talented and funny. We play all night. I forget about the hour about my parents. They even call the police. Um, oh, so yeah, she, she is the singer. At the end yeah. of the night, they, they look for a singer and they want her. So she's very happy about that. Mm. And she knows William as well. Interestingly, outside of the house, there's a tree stump with a heart on it, which says W and S. Well, there we go. William and Selena. Well, there we go. Okay, that was a good sexy voice, by the way. Thank I got you. a bit flustered. I there. tried. I need some cold water. Calm down a bit. Mm. Uh, right. right. Okay, let's go safe before we uh, go anywhere near that thing. Yeah, no thanks. I don't want to touch it. I did mention this is survival horror, by the way, right? Yes, yes, yeah. you did. Oh, hello. Window. The window had no handle. <coughs> what is the. It's, it's they don't not, need a window. Not meant to open then? I don't know. Globe covered with scribbling. Ooh, someone's been writing on it. Uh, Why would they do that? Okay, sit your ass down. Saving the chair. Let's have a little chill. <sighs> Did we check out that thing no. that's over there? No. I sort of went round that way, so I was yeah. going to finish the thing and then go out through the through the curtains of doom. <laughs> <laughs> Don't like the curtains of doom. But Selena's over there, so yeah. But so is the banshee wench bitch. <laughs> God, I realised I just sounded like a little banshee then. <laughs> <laughs> what is this? Uh, oh. Look around. Oh. Uh, and space to interact. An so, esoteric symbol. Is that what that is? I thought it was just the symbol for female. And maybe that's the broad thing mm -hmm. for that. Oh, a small we're looking for a key. For a key. I wonder where the key could be. Mm. Maybe the woman has it. How do I leave? Which woman? The I evil banshee woman? Probably, or? because why not? Uh, Nothing in there. I don't like those women. Sheet music. music. So lots of musics. I like the musics. Um, go touch the piece of paper that's on there. What is it? What could this be? Note to self, armchairs. I am so tired. Father ordered, ordered several leather ch club chairs from a Quincy craftsman. They are perfect. It's one of the few places where I can rest and think. Margaret wouldn't touch them, and I have no idea why. Maybe because they are marked with a sun, which made her blind. What? I don't know. I'm just happy here. Thank you, Father. What? So that's the safe chairs. Yeah, yeah. But why would they make her blind? Like, is, no, uh, the is sun, he saying the, the sun, sun made her blind? How did the sun make her blind? She Unless she it. looked into it. Yeah, Don't she... look into it. I looked into the light above the camera. Oh, you, oh, God. Now I've done it. <laughs> it's the lights. So the lights up there are like loads of individual LEDs. And they are so bright. I, I, it's, yeah, I've just blinded myself. Yeah. Well it's, done, Kim. Yeah. Well done. Good job. Okay, right. Let's get back and go. Let's go say hi to the 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 what's it? The I banshee don't boob. Think I want banshee to. boob. <laughs> banshee boob. Oh no, no, no. An original copy. I missed that before. You know, I just noticed that the matches they smoke and mirrors on. That's the club, isn't it? Yeah. That's a nice touch. I like that. Where were the other matches around here? Uh, I'm just going to pick there. them up before we amble in there. Oh, there's a camera there as well. Uh, touch, touch the creepy camera. What creepy photo have we got this time? It's a nice photo. My only family at a father's death. Their voice, their footsteps, their lives. I miss them all. So I guess like they're helping the, the staff. Yeah, so that's so the outside she of the had house. Is the help. Or, or he, actually. I'm, is, yeah. Is, it, is that something in the window? It could be. <laughs> but I hate creepy I, old It's photos. not very clear, is it? Yeah, it I hate creepy old be. photos because you just look at them and you go, is there something There's there? There's a person in the window. Mm. Did I tell you about the time um, I was at a sleepover? We took a photo of like our friends sleeping. Like we were, we were. Ba I'm going to pause that. We were balancing stuff on them because why not, right? And taking photos. And genuinely, one of the photos came out and it looked like there was someone sitting in the chair across the room. But it was back when it was like. So it was when you had negatives. The, no, no, no. The really crap camera phones. Yeah. Like when they just uh, come out. Yeah. So in that level of light, it was really dark. And but. Literally, it was me and another friend, and everyone else was asleep. And the next morning, we showed them this thing, and they were like, "No, you two, like one of you's blatantly sat over there." And we we're like, "No, genuinely, 
that is either a freak accident of lighting or There's there was something in, in that chair. Oh, I got little goosebumps thinking about that.